Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today we're going to have a look at the new Jurassic World um, Primal Attack, Soundstrike, Cryolophosaurus and this looks absolutely amazing. Um, I picked up these, um, a few of the new Jurassic World toys from Smith's the other night um, and this is, I think this is like my third, fourth review on the new LAN. I can't believe we've got this many out at one go and this is one of my favourites. I wasn't keen on it um, at first with the peak and stuff, but we'll talk about that when I get out of the packaging. And this retails for £19 from Smith, so I will link it in the description box down below. I'm not going to talk much about the packaging. It's just quite nice packaging. I'm just going to move the camera back a little bit further. This it was a very unusual dinosaur as well. And yeah, this is a sound strike figure. This is the back of the box. It's compatible with the Jurassic World Facts app. Um, it shows you a really cool picture of the figure in action and it looks like it can swipe his head by you moving its tail. And we'll check out all that when I get out of the packaging. And then this is two of the new available figures. Um, what are out? My Tranodon's already up, so check that out. I am going to get the Triceratops but I'm not really mega excited for it as it's another Triceratops, we've had a few of them but I am going to get it because I do really like the coloured scheme but I'm not sure if I'm going to do my review on it on YouTube or my review on my Instagram which is Liam underscore magpie if you love Jurassic World stuff you'd be gl um, glad to um, you'd be happy to follow me on there because um, I do a lot of my pictures are all like Jurassic World related so you'll enjoy that and you'll know of upcoming videos of Jurassic World stuff as well um, but I do do a mixed range of toys on my channel so please like and subscribe it's just that at the moment all these new Jurassic World toys have come out so without further ado I'm going to review the Cryolophosaurus so I've got the Cryolophosaurus out of the packaging. I am hoping I pronounced that one right as well. You know that these dinosaurs can be quite tricky to say. But um, my overall thoughts on the figure is that it looks really good. It's letting off a bit more yellow on camera, but it's actually more like a mustardy colour. Um, so other than that, um, I'm going to just show you its face sculpt up close first. So is it's face up close it looks really really nice it looks uh, it's a very unusual dinosaur Um i wasn't keen on this when i first saw it on pictures because it actually looked like it was just stuck on but now it seems to be blended quite well it's got a, a yellow painted eye and it's got a bit of glue there but that should pick, pick off uh, and one more warning about this figure, one slight movement of the head and it will make it sound. So I'm trying to review it as careful as I can without being interrupted. Um, but overall, I think the head sculpt is absolutely amazing. I love the frill on top of the head. I love the pop of orange against the brown and yellow. It really complements each other. The sculpt with the ridges of the fin are sail if you must looks really nice and then it's got some sculpt detailing at the top it's actually like a dull downed orange so don't let the bright colors um scare you so it's got some nice ridges at the back as well i actually don't know what you'd call this bit but i'm going to call it like the sail and it's got some nice um like bones in what I meant to look like bones in the cell bit here and then at the front of the head as you can see there it's got a really nice peak with some nice groove detailing and sculpt detailing overall and then it's just got some texturing around the nose area Um, I could imagine this being like really hard if it was a real dinosaur um, like a bone but it looks really really cool well and then on the back of its, um, on the on its back, it's got like this sail, what rises up a little bit, and then it's got some little grooves of what would be their bones. So they look really cool. I don't fully know what the skeleton would look like, but I 
think it looks overall really good. I think the coloured scheme is really nice because it kind of reminds me of the Sukumimus, which is in yellow, like that mustard colour and the brown. So this brown and that yellow is like that colour. But obviously we've got a bit of pop of orange there. And I really like the shape of the, cr um, the crest as well. The way it sculpts itself around the face. And then the bottom teeth on the jaw had um, from the mouth and the mouth you actually articulate how you on. As you can hear there, it's got some amazing sounds. Um, that's the only thing is it's head's very sensitive so one little knock and it will make the noise. Um, but this is the inside of the mouth. The tongue is a bit more matte painted um, and the teeth are quite small. Compared to other dinosaur figures, the teeth are quite small and spread apart. It's got a nice bit of sculpting on the jaw there and it's in, it's got some little lumps and bumps. It's got a little bit of like foldage on the chin, which is in a cream colour there. That would have been nice if they followed that down to the ridge, probably up to where that speaker is there. And as you can see, there's the speaker there and there is where you can change the batteries if you are doing the Jurassic World facts app there is the code there let me focus it in so you can scan it out scan away and add it to your Jurassic World collection on the Jurassic World facts app so there you go I'm open that will scan in I haven't tried it for myself yet um, but I'm sure it will and what else I really like about this figure is the way they've done this brown bleeds in between this yellow and the crest of its head bleeds like into a free shape and then it goes all the way around the eye. Just adding that little bit of um, shading and definition, I think it looks really nice. Um, the teeth go from different varies of sizes um, in the mouth as well. And I like these little grooves going all the way around the mouth with the scaling textures and around the bottom bit of the jaw as well. I like it because there's a pop of different colour. There's brown, yellow, white, orange. They've got freckling throughout the skin as well. That just adds to it. And then on the legs... On the legs, it's got this ripple effect of um, sculpting, which I really like, and scale detailing throughout the legs as well. And I like the way it's just like creases all the way down. And then there's some rib definition and crease definition around the ribs there. That looks really nice to the sculpt. And then I love the sail on its back. Um, Looks really nice with these little textures of lumps and bumps there. Really cool. It's a really nice figure. And then there are the claws. With some freckling and muscle definition there. Not painted. They would be nice to get painted in this brown colour. Um, it's a flexible material. And that is the articulation on the legs. Uh, on the arms there. It really moves really smooth, really nice. You can pretty much just go all the way around, up and down. That's really nice. And then it's got some really nice ripple detailing underneath the belly. And the speaker's hidden quite well. And then on the feet, the feet are painted in a nice brown colour. Which really go well with the brown on, the, on its back. And then the tail has this like lump and bump texturing across all the way down to the bottom. I would have really liked it as well if they could maybe have carried a little bit more of the brown going down the tail. Um, but it really doesn't bother me at all. I think I actually really like this dinosaur a lot more than what I thought I was going to like. And overall it's nice to get another species again so Mattel's really pushing it out the park um shall we say really pushing it out the Jurassic Park <laughs> um 
and yeah there isn't much more i can say the legs move as well so they don't have that locking mechanism like the other figure i showed you that absolutely sounds amazing which i'll show you that in a sec but yeah moves the legs as usual and at this point i won't even have to show you how, how we have to um use the sound effects but yeah that ends the same and then the fire goes in and out so this one doesn't have that locking mechanism on the legs but it does stand really steady compared to some of the older dinosaurs um and yeah so i'm going to show you the feature now so if you move the tail it'll move its head up and down but it can't move side to side like the other ones but it will move up and down oh yeah it can move its head side to side like that I love that sound. And up and down. So there the sound effects you use its tail. So obviously it moves its head side to side and up and down just from moving the tail. But the mouth actually you can have however you want. So that's really good. Usually it'd have like a chomping um action feature, but this one doesn't, so you can get to move the mouth however you want. Tails don't move however you want. With these new figures, it has got little tiny, tiny little faults, but nothing too major. And overall, it just looks amazing. I love the yellow with the brown and the orange. The colour scheme together looks really good. Um, and it's £19 from Smith's. I think it's such a great figure. I'm not really going to do a size comparison. I feel like it's around the same size as maybe the Albertosaurus or around the same size as the Concavenator figure. Um, I might do a, like a photography photo of them fighting so you can get a rough idea. Like I said, you can follow me on Liam underscore Magpie and you might see some photography pictures um the sounds amazing the articulation is amazing the colored scheme is amazing scan it into your drastic world facts app the head sculpt is amazing i think that is so unusual and i think it's nice that we've got another carnivore but i want to see some herbivores now so we've got a lot of carnivores now it's time for herbivores and I can't wait to get some more Jurassic World toys to show you guys. And I don't know if there's anything else I'd like to say. Um, the only pet peeve I've got about it is you go like that, one wobble and it'll make all the noises. So the batteries might not last as long on this figure as previous figures. Um, it, did it needs a little bit more control issue there so if i was to give the full figure a scale to one to ten i'd give it a nine just because of that other than that everything else is perfect i can't really say anything else obviously they don't paint the claws but i don't count that as much as i did right at the beginning um but now that doesn't bother me so please give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel I've got some more Jurassic World stuff coming up soon and I've got some other toy related stuff coming up soon. I've done a lot of Jurassic World stuff at the moment but it's because all of the new ones come out at the same time for us and it's very hard for the UK to get these toys so when we do and when I do I like to get on to it and review them so it's not too late. Um, so yeah but other toys will be coming up soon. So I will see you on the next one guys uh, and I will definitely link this toy in the description box down below. It was £19. So I will see you again on the next one guys. Bye.